Hey everybody, I'm Quentin and I just wanted to show you a, a nice update in the latest version of the Tesla software. Let's switch to the other camera and I'll show you. Okay, so I'm running software 2022.28.2 I think at the moment and this may have appeared in earlier versions um, but I only noticed it now. So if you go here, you probably know that if we go into, for some reason it's under autopilot, there's this automatic blind spot camera. Now, this is these little cameras that are on the uh, wing of the front wing of the car, um, which have a view down the back. And if you look at the cameras here, it's these two, which face backwards uh, down the side of the car. Now, if you have that blind spot camera switched on, then when you use the turn indicator, then you get the view through the camera, or left or right, there you go. Uh, but the problem is that this isn't a great position, especially for, um, you know, depending if you hold your wheel like this, it's pretty much obscured. And that was the only option you had in earlier versions of the software. But hey, now you can click on this and you can drag it either to that location, which means that when I'm normally holding the wheel, it's much more visible. Or if you want it really out of the way, up there where it covers a little bit more of your map, let's hide there. So it pops up over the map, but it's also a bit closer to actually looking in the rear view mirror. And so perhaps at least when you're turning left is more normal. Anyway, I thought that was a really cool feature. I certainly like it in either of those positions much better than I liked it in the um, in its original low down location. I think that's probably the best one for me. I don't have to look too far to see it. Anyway, hope that's useful for someone. Another nice little update that slipped through there and I think was very easy to miss. Uh, thank you, Tesla, and enjoy driving.